Hello everyone, I'm Meg Coker, Dr. Morfield Lang's graduate assistant, and this is Tech15. Today we're looking at Kaizena, an online application that allows you to give feedback on assignments that is both individualized and efficient. So here we are at the homepage. As you can see in the top left corner, the URL is kaizena, K-A-I-Z-E-N-A dot com. Now, there's some features that you can only see once you sign in, and they have a nice handy button up here to let you sign in with your Google account. But first, we're going to look around at the introductory materials that are on the other portions of the site. So if you scroll down, you can see that they show several examples of how to use things, such as being able to track specific items, tag them with a rubric criteria, record comments not only textually, but also vocally, and the ability to have a two-way conversation between the person requesting feedback and the person giving feedback. Back up at the top here we're going to click on about. That shows the concept on which Kaizena is based and named after, reasons why it exists including more if you wish and the team that works on it. If you click on the read more it will take you to the blog to a specific post that shows why Kaizena exists and their reasoning behind it. You can also click on the blog link which will take you to the latest posting which shows a new tool which we will see in a moment once I log in. All right, so I've logged in, and when I logged in, it allowed me to type out how I wanted my name to appear in my profile, as well as select whether I was a teacher, a student, or neither. And when I selected neither, just to see what it would do, it prompted me to share what my role within the classroom was. So now I've logged into my account, currently a student account, and this is the demo document, which shows how to use it, what the different icons mean, and all of the different features of the application. You can also start a new conversation over here with skills, lessons, text comments, or voice comments. I put the top left here, now that I've logged in, you see the three main subheadings of feedback, lessons, and skills. Feedback allows you to both ask for feedback as well as to give feedback when it's requested. Lessons allows you to create a specific set of material which can include not only external links but also your own recordings and text notes. Skills allows you to add specific rubric skills or other criteria so that as you give feedback you can link them to specific items that might be in your rubric. And one more thing to notice about feedback is that when you go to your inbox or outbox you have not only your current requests but also the ability to archive them. Once you log in it walks you through the rest of the process from setting up your account to trying out the demo document. This has been a brief introduction to Kaizena by Tech15. Thanks for watching.